What's up, guys? I really should have wiped off the table before I started, but I didn't, so you're going to have to bear with me while I take care of that now. It's a little too gross for me to deal with. It's cool. It won't take long. Got my towels right here, everything. Starting on a new pendant. Um, it's a miniature of a sculpture that I freestyled a while back, and I really fell in love with it. It's called Infinite Us. And I'll show you the sculpture in a second. I've got to wipe that off, too, because it's been sitting around. And it's rather dusty. So there. Got a cleaner work environment here. All right. And let me wipe off this sculpture off camera. This one is air-dried clay. It was a replica of a 3D sculpture that I had created in a dope program called Nomad Sculpt. And this is when, you know, back in 2022, when I first started my sculpture journey, I decided that these things I was creating, I wanted to see, I wanted to feel, and I wanted to touch. So that is Infinite Us, turning it around so you can see all the angles. And like I said, it, it is dusty because it's been sitting out for a while. So that's how Infinite Us looks, and I always thought that it would actually make a really dope pendant and even a sort of cuff style bracelet. So I've got these little cutting boards that I had brought a long time ago, and I'm going to use it for that. So starting with the block of clay, actually I think I'm going to go with this one. It's a much larger block. I am going to roll it out just a little bit because I do want it wider. Gotta give me a second while I adjust the camera angle. Because I don't feel like showcasing my, looks like I cook collard greens and yams all day for a living arms. So, I'm just going to take and um, roll this out a little bit, then I'll have to readjust the camera. I want it to be pretty high, a high block, just not as high as it is right now. So I'm just flattening it a little. There's a little chunk of dried clay in there. I think that's good. Um, I'm going to go ahead, take my ring off. When I'm a little bit anxious or I'm thinking about things, I have a tendency to tap. My nails are toe up from the flow up. I've got to take this polish off tonight if I have enough nail polish remover, redo them. As you can see, my nails are down to nubs. Um, when I first started filming the YouTube videos, they had grown out considerably, about to right there. And it was getting in the way of everything. And it's certainly going to get into the way of pottery once I get my wheels. So. I figured might as well go ahead and get rid of them now. It's, you know, it's destined to be. And I think I showed you guys my new little caddy. It was from Dollar General. And I got that because you guys know I was always having my tools like right around on the table. And of course, when the clay dust falls, I got to pick up the tools, wipe the table. It's just a whole bunch of mess when it could be much more organized. So found this little caddy for $4. And it was just um, a five piece. So this column, this column, this column, and then the fourth and fifth pieces. And you just had to stick the column into the bottom and the top. And then what I experienced was taking things out. If it got hooked, I would snatch the top off. All the tools would go flying. So I crazy glued it into spot because I know I want this to be. Now, it's not on. This is not a turntable. It's just flat but it turns around on the surface very easily, so it's not a hindrance to me at all. So right now I'm thinking about where this needs to be because I don't want it to be the largest pendant in the world. I want it to be within these confines. And that's pretty dang on small, but it's what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut some off just because mentally I need to be able to see what my boundaries are because I have a lot of, a lot of um, problems with proportions. A lot of problems. It's hard for me to eyeball stuff, and I end up doing unnecessary work. Um, only saving grace is that for the most part, with anything that I'm passionate about, I learn to get fairly fast, fairly quickly. So I'm just gonna slice this off. Pretty slices of nicely wedged clay. You see how smooth and even those pieces are? No air pockets. It's not to say there's no air pockets in this piece right here, but honestly, I sort of doubt it. So I think what's going to help me is sort of drawing out the infinity sign first. Remember, I'm planning this out as I go along and I just decided on a different approach. 
I think it'll be best if I slice into this and almost sculpt on this as if it's like a bar relief. Is this the right approach? Don't know. Won't know until I start building and see the flaws in it. And then I can always approach it differently for the next one. This is me cutting a, mo a wide margin around. Give myself plenty of area to work with. <sighs> I'm nervous about this. Gonna be a lot of hand forming on this one. I don't feel like talking a lot. I, don't, I keep opening my mouth out of a sense of obligation because I'm filming. But I'm gonna stop doing that right now.
All right, so we are going to call it at 42 minutes, 54 seconds. Let's just go ahead and call it 43. Um, I like working on this cutting board because the clay is sticking to it so that I can turn it and work from different areas on such a small piece that's important because you don't want to get locked in, only able to see one vantage point and one perspective when you still got so much to do. So this is working out just great for me. Now, I'm a fan of huge jewelry, big statement pieces. So when this is finished, this is definitely something I would rock. And, you know, I feel like it's always taken a certain sort of person, a certain sort of vibe to be able to rock jewelry that's as big as you. And I miss it. I miss getting it from um, up top, New Jersey and New York, especially the village way back in the day. Oh, my God. So many dope underground shops where you could buy, like, the biggest jewelry. And I had nice earrings that I used to love and it's like they just don't seem to make them that big anymore the way I like them I can't even wear earrings right now because one of my ear earlobes is ripped and has been for many many years since my oldest son was a baby and he is 34 now so that lets you know how long I've had to go without wearing pierced earrings I can only wear clip-ons so maybe that's why there's such a strong focus on pendants for me right now but um I'm sure I'll, I'll eventually make some moves into earrings but pendants allow me to go you know like ridiculously large like this you know so yeah, I would, I would totally rock that on my chest. That's me. And I know there's some of you out here that would too. So I hope that um, if this piece resonates with you when I do my live stream and release some of these pieces for acquisition, I hope you find exactly what you're looking for. All right? So I'm going to take a break. Let this sit for a while. I'm going to spritz it, cover it with a towel so that it'll be in great working condition when I come back. Same thing with this block of clay. Loosely covered, loosely sprayed, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.